Alright, and what we want to do with this ground is we're going to flip it around underneath the other stuff, all these other wires, and hook it back around right like so. Now we're just going to solder it right there. As you can imagine, I already had a little bit of solder beaded up there. Had already prepped that point. Alright, real quick before I continue. Touch up some of this excess flux paste again. Now at this point, before you do anything else, uh, we're going to want to go ahead and get our NAND X all wired up here. Uh, I sh should have done that before I even started installing wires to the cool runner, but I've actually already I've already got all the programming and whatnot dumped off of this, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get our NAND X wires hooked up. Okay, here's my NAND X wires. Now, as you can see, I've done mine a little bit differently here. I actually took uh, uh, some old LEDs and I clipped the legs off of them and soldered them to the end of the wires. Makes it a little easier to uh, to make sure you get a good connection. And you can bend the wires out of the way of each other so that you don't end up shorting them out. So. I'm going to begin installing these. We're going to be putting the blue and the green wire coming right over here. Right underneath the cool runner here. The uh, low loss is somewhat in your way. But we're coming from the left side of J2B1 and we're using the third points right here and here so these two points here I'm putting a little flux base on there now getting it ready now I'm going to come in and pre-tine the, the point with some solder In the blue. Okay. Alright, so next we're going to be moving over right here. Next to... Oh, sorry. You can't see my finger. We're coming right over here. To the... Uh, point right next to... It's right south of the... Right here. tight on here. We got some shadowing going on. This point's where the rest of our NAND X wires are gonna are gonna run off to. So what we're using here, we're gonna be using five points. Putting a little bit of flux paste on it. 
we're using this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Prepping the points for solder, or for attaching the wires. I'm just going to stick my iron on the point and flow some solder down onto it. Uh -huh. We're going to have a tricky bugger here. Once in a while, you get one that just does not want to take solder. Well, that would be this one. I'm coming at a steep angle here. two points at once. I don't like messing with the same spot too long, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next point. The rest of these should flow nice and smooth. Start with our yellow wire here. Uh, which was the the hard point to solder to. It's really not always that difficult, but uh, every once in a while. Alright, next is orange. So I'm going to do the red. And then last, I'm 
nicely. Black. Now it's rather difficult to get in there and clean all that uh, uh, flex space off with the wires installed. I'm going to do an effort here to at least get some 